here at the Faculty of Architecture and sometimes you see students just totally emerged and looking at things that normal people would not look at. But those people, those architecture students and architects, they see something else in what they have here. This glossy material could mean for them a total facade or um, a rooftop or uh, a, a beautiful square in a city. The same is for this. This is not just a block of plastic. In the mind of an architect, it could be uh, a residential home where someone lives inside of this floor. And also this shape, it means to those architects much more. It can be a part of their facade of, or an ornament in the building. So emergence is really important in, in architecture and design. And uh, in our courses, for example, in the first year course, we have this exercise and they start working with simple blocks and lines and floors. And at a certain moment, they don't see this anymore as blocks and paper and cardboard. They see as if it's a house and then you see them looking inside and they just can feel as if they walk around in the house. Now to develop this further, you can for example focus on this part. You see here is a block, a floor and a beam and it's a whole connection. It needs some more development and then they make a scale model in a bigger size. So this for example. Here you see the same situation but in mu much more detail. And this model is important because as an architect you can read it and you can read new ideas in it. A scale model is not just an end product, it's also a means of communication. Now we go to another exercise about designing a lamp. And what you see here are a lot of little scale models and actually they are from the first week of the course. So every stu student comes up with maybe 10 of these models and in, in each model there is an ID and this ID can grow into a real object. It's again very important that I take this lamp and read, oh, I should do, do this detail in this way and I can solve it in that way. I can use this material or that fabrication technique. So again, it's a, a good uh, communication model in which uh, new ideas can emerge. Here you see some end results. There's a whole new level of detail. How is it connected? How is the light going on? And actually these are uh, working prototypes. And again, the students could take it one step further when, when he or she reads what is inside the model. One big lesson in design is that you just have to start. Just make something and don't be afraid what will come from it. Uh, you, you can still develop it. So that's emergence in design.